Hi, welcome to another video on MCP authentication. Now, yesterday's video, we covered how we can create an MCP server using bearer token authentication. And at that time, we used this MCP inspector version 0 0.11.0. And we saw that this version of the inspector could not handle bearer token authentication for streamable MCP. And I said, in next couple of days, we can expect this update and today itself, this MCP inspector next version got launched and it has streamable MCP with authentication. So, in this short video, we are going to showcase that. Okay, so welcome to Techie Talks AI. I am Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. So, I am starting the MCP server. So, this MCP server has authentication. Okay. Let's confirm that it has authentication by executing the curl command. Okay. So, so here in this curl command, we are passing the bearer token super secret 123. We saw this yesterday. Okay. So, let's run this. That is the base URL. And this is the add tool call. And see here, result of 1 plus 1 is 8. Remember, we are adding extra 2 to confirm that the tool is being called. Okay, so this confirms that bearer token works. And if you change this token to something else, we should get unauthorized error. Okay, see, unauthorized error. Okay, so this confirms that the server is expecting the bearer token. Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to access this version of uh, MCP inspector that is version 0 0.11.0 and try to connect we will notice that it is not able to connect if you look at the server we should get unauthorized see 401 unauthorized okay so now what we are going to do is we will update this MCP inspector version how do we update we will just relaunch and say yes. I will press Control C to come out of it and then npx at the rate model context protocol slash inspector. This time it is asking need to install the version 12. I am saying yes. Okay. It is running at port 6274. 46274. Let's refresh this page. Authorization. We have to put authorization here. Session and bearer token. Let's see. Unauthorized. So that means uh, authorization spelling it should be Z. Okay. Yes, see, we got the connection. Now we can say list tools, execute the noti notify tool. Yes. Okay, and add tool 2 plus 3, we should get 7. Yes. Okay, so this is a quick demo of this latest news where MCP version 0.12.0 can handle bearer token based authentication. Just a quick recap on where we are adding this authentication on the MCP server. If you see here, here we read the headers received from the MCP client. We read the authorization key and here we compare that header with the auth token. This auth token we are passing when we launch this application as a parameter. Okay, that is it. So, that is the only change that we need to do on our streamable MCP server to accept authentication. If you look at the docker compose.yaml, when we start the application, we are passing this auth token as a parameter, but this can also be passed via the env file. So, that is the quick demo of this MCP inspector version 
0.12.0, which allows streamable MCP plus authorization. Otherwise, only SSE had this option till yesterday. Okay, if you have any questions, please come by the comment section and please remember to like, share and subscribe. These short videos will put you on track with the latest developments in the AI friend, AI applications friend. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.